friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole, and today I thought I would wrap up the first official month of 2020 with seven healthy habits that I think you need to start today. These are things that I've incorporated into my life that had made have made such huge differences and I just swear by them. You guys see them in my routine videos and probably in my vlogs and there's a reason. It's because I do them all the time and they have just made huge changes in my life and I want to share them with you guys in today's video. Just kind of like wrap them all up in an easy to watch video. I'm also so excited to be working with NRX who are sponsoring and collaborating with me on today's video. I actually have a tub right here. They are known for their greens powders. They, in my opinion, are like the pioneers of greens powders. And you guys know I love green smoothies, so I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later. Um, but what makes NRX really stand out from all the other ones that you see in the market is that they actually use greens that have been juiced and then dehydrated. So not only don't you get that like gritty texture if you're just mixing it with water or dr drinking it straight, but you also get a way higher higher nutrients level and I've just been obsessed I've been using it all month long I'm loving the taste I use it in my smoothies you can just mix it in some water and drink it and it's just an easy way to get more greens into your life because that's like definitely one of my biggest habits that I do every day is I eat more greens and having convenient products like this to make it a little bit easier and digestible and just a little bit yeah easier instead of just eating a big plate of salad you just throw some powdered greens in there and you're good to go. So I'm gonna show you guys my seven habits that I think you need to be doing right now for 2020 and let's hop right in. Habit number one is creating a sleep routine and this starts with what you do before you go to bed. At least an hour before I decide to start getting ready for bed, I will put my phone on airplane mode and I don't turn it back on until at least one hour of waking up. This helps me just disconnect with the digital world and not not feel bombarded with notifications and emails and just scrolling non-stop and it just helps my body rest and get a good night's sleep. Miss Cashew likes to wake me up every day with some cuddles. I also like to drink some water to rehydrate my body, especially since you haven't been drinking water for the last eight hours. So it's really important to get that water back into your system and it just also helps wake me up since I don't drink coffee. It gives me like a sense of alertness in the morning, which kind of sounds odd, but water is energizing and it's so important to have first thing in the morning. And you guys know this, I like to make my bed. I feel like it just helps me set a good tone for the day. It's like checking off one thing off your to-do list and you just feel like you're already getting productive for the day. Speaking of hydration, one of my tips to making sure I'm drinking enough water throughout the day is to always have a water bottle with me, just a reusable one that I can take with me on the go. Even when I'm working from home, I always have one next to me because that's like my reminder to drink more water and stay hydrated. Anytime I get headaches, it's usually because I'm not drinking enough water and just the water bottle trick is the best thing to do. Get yourself a cute water bottle, fill it up with water, you can add some fruit or fresh herbs to make it more exciting and just take it with you everywhere you go. Make it your best friend and don't leave the house without it. Next on the list is to drink your greens. Now you guys know I love and live for my green smoothies in the morning. They have just made the biggest difference in my digestion, my energy levels, my blood sugar levels. I love that it's a convenient way to consume a bunch of fresh fruits and vegetables and superfoods. And the fun thing too is you can play around with it and make different flavor combinations every single morning to switch things up. So here I have some fresh baby spinach, apple, cucumber, a frozen banana, which makes it so creamy, frozen mango, which is another fruit that makes a smoothie super creamy if you don't wanna do banana, fresh lemon juice, a big chunk of raw ginger, Brazil nuts, which are really high in selenium, flax seeds for that fiber and omega-3, and then as I mentioned, I've been loving the NRX greens powders, so specifically the mixed berries flavor. I love this greens powder because it has some of my favorite greens and superfoods like Hawaiian spirulina, alfalfa leaf juice powder, barley grass juice powder, and the list goes on. It also has added live enzymes and probiotics. It's gluten-free, it's organic. And as I mentioned, the greens are actually juiced and then dehydrated, which makes it easier to absorb and digest. 
For liquid, I'm adding in some unsweetened oat milk and some filtered water. And then give it a blend until it's creamy smooth and you're ready to pour this and serve it up in a tall glass or mason jar and it will be the best breakfast you've ever had. It is so good. I've been trying to switch up my green smoothies a bit because I felt like I was in a rut with all the same ingredients. So I added some apple, which I haven't done in years, and I didn't add any protein powder, just the NRX greens mixed berries powder. And the mixed berries flavor is really fresh and fruity and it just really pairs nicely with the lemon and the ginger in the smoothie. And like, I can't, I can't promote green smoothies enough, guys. If you don't like eating healthy, this is such an easy way just to gulp it down in one easy glass. You get so much nutrition and enzymes and probiotics and vitamins in this glass and it's seriously going to fuel you it's going to make you feel so energized without caffeine and i just think that this has been a game changer for me in my personal life it's why i drink a green smoothie pretty much every day and it tastes good you can flavor it with whatever you like make it super creamy and this one here tastes it looks really green but i promise it tastes so good this is my new go-to smoothie my next healthy habit is to pause sit quiet and meditate and this practice has changed my life in so many ways and I am just such a believer in meditation and when you do it every day you will notice big changes and shifts in the way that you think react to things and just handle stress I personally meditate 30 minutes a day, which I know seems like a lot, but even just meditating for five to 10 minutes each day and then working your way up is a great place to start. My next tip is using essential oils. I've actually been using essential oils for the last couple of years, more so in the last year. And honestly, they have just helped me in my life in so many ways, both on an emotional level, but also just keeping my home a clean one without the use of toxic chemicals. I love diffusing them into the air. There is a blend for energy, relaxation, immune boosting. I feel like you can find something for whatever it is that you're looking for support with. I also love to use it as a perfume. It not only helps support my overall wellness, but it smells amazing and it lasts. And then I love to use it to clean my home. So I'll put it on my steam mop and the smell that comes off of it is amazing. I know that it's actually helping me clean my home and not just providing a nice scent. I love that not only is it good for me, but they actually are providing benefits. If you've never used essential oils before, I highly recommend starting with lavender and then you can kind of work your way up through other scents. But lavender is a great go-to and it has so many uses. Next up we have meal prep, which is something I kind of fell off the wagon for a little bit in 2019, but I'm getting back on it when I consistently meal prep food ahead of time and it's in my fridge, ready to grab and eat. It honestly helps create such better eating habits. You're eating out less, you're saving money. When you know you already have delicious, healthy food prepped in the fridge, it takes the guesswork out of it and you're just less likely to want to, you know, order in food or grab something quick on the way home from work. Just taking a couple of hours in the beginning of the week or even just spreading it out throughout the week and prepping things like granola, energy bites. These are my raw chocolate chip cookie dough bites from the Health Nut Cookbook. They are unreal and actually healthy. You know, if you have a sweet tooth like me, just make healthier sweet treat options that you can eat at home and feel good about because you know what was put into it. Even just prepping things like freezing ripened bananas for smoothies, de-stemming kale for salads, soups, and smoothies. Anything that you can prep ahead of the week just to set you up for the rest of the week will make such a difference when you're preparing meals. And I like to do a couple of cooked meals, but also just prepping individual ingredients so I can kind of mix and match, make Buddha bowls, and not just be stuck to one specific meal Monday to Friday, because I like variety. Pop them into containers, put them in your fridge, and they will be ready to grab and go. I will link some of my favorite go-to meal prep recipes down below. Last but not least, which can sometimes be the hardest thing, is to move your body. Now, this can look different for everyone. I've been loving nature walks with Cashew and Matt. It's been so relaxing just mentally, but it's also moving my body, getting the blood flowing, and I feel so good after I'm done. You could try joining a gym, grabbing a workout partner, trying a new class. It can look different for everyone, but just warming up the body, getting a bit of a sweat, even an at-home workout like yoga or Pilates, or 
or a HIIT training session that you can get for free on YouTube will make such a difference. And what I find is that it's the consistency, not so much the intensity. So if you're someone that doesn't like a super intense workout, just moving your body every single day will make the biggest changes because it's what you do most of the time, not sometimes that makes the biggest changes in your life. All right, there you have it. My seven super simple, but very effective healthy habits that I think you should be incorporating in 2020 to feel your best. And of course, healthy habits are things that we should be doing all year round, but I really do think that the beginning of a new year is the perfect way just to get more motivated to incorporate those. And so I would love to know what are like three healthy habits that you guys want to incorporate this year. Leave me a comment down below. And thanks again to NRX for sponsoring today's video. I love working with Canadian brands that are truly making an effort to provide nutrient dense products in the most convenient, healthy, and delicious way possible. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. The link will be down below. Also, I'm going to have a full blog post of all of these habits with links and everything over my blog, which will be linked down below as well. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your January 2020, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.